gentleman from Massachusetts is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I rise to uh, oppose this rule. Americans are feeling pain at the pump. Rising gasoline prices, and they're rising, folks. It's going to cost the average person another $800 per year at the rate of these increases. That wipes out the tax breaks that most Americans have just received, and it's going to hurt our economy, and it's hurting our national security. These oil companies are making increased profits as the money in our wallets flies right into the gas tanks. Now is the time to consider a sensible energy policy and to strip subsidies from oil companies. You know, it shocks every American taxpayer to know that they're required to fork over an additional $40 billion plus over the next decade to give tax subsidies and giveaways to these enormously profitable companies. What are they doing with that money? They're taking up to 90% of that and buying their stocks back, increasing their own personal wealth. So let's be clear. Oil companies don't need it. And if you don't believe me, ask them. The former CEO of Shell Oil says with higher oil prices, the subsidies aren't necessary. Uh, Gentlemen's time has expired. Additional 15 seconds. Gentlemen's recognized for an additional 15 seconds. Thank you. Friends on the other side of the aisle say they're all for the all of the above strategy when it comes to oil. And let's be clear. They support oil above all, above Medicare, above putting police on the streets, above increasing reading teachers, and above protecting our coastal communities. I yield my time back. Thank Gentleman you. yields back his time.